The Garmin Force was the first trolling motor that Garmin produced, and it has not disappointed. It quickly grew in popularity after winning Best of Show at ICAST in 2019. And in 2023, Garmin introduced the second motor to their lineup, the Kraken. And in this video, we're going to cover all of the similarities and differences in the Force and the Kraken to help you decide which motor will work best for you. So the first thing you'll notice when looking at both of these motors is how much different they look. Both of these are bow mounted motors, but the Garmin Force features an extremely robust scissor style mount with dual gas springs, making it easy to stow and deploy the motor. The Garmin Kraken features a smaller profile pivot style mount, making it easier to install on boats with limited bow space. The Force comes in one color option, which is black and has two shaft length options, 50 inch and 57 inch, making it perfect for bass boats and boat holes that sit a little bit lower in the water. The Kraken comes in two color options, black or white, and the shaft length options are a little bit longer, making them perfect for deep V and offshore boats. The black model is available in both 63 inch and 75 inch, and the white model is available in a 63 inch 75 inch or 90 inch. According to Garmin, both of these models can be ran in both freshwater and saltwater, and for warranty, both of the models come with a full coverage three year warranty and a limited lifetime warranty on the shaft. Both motors have an extremely quiet and efficient brushless motor that can be ran on 24 or 36 volts. At 24 volts, they're rated at 80 pounds of thrust and at 36 volts, they're rated at 100 pounds of thrust. For operation, the Force and the Kraken both come with a water resistant floating remote with a sunlight readable display. The remote gives you total control over the motor's steering, prop control, and GPS functions, and is loaded with features including point and go steering, and four programmable keys that can be used for control of your chart plotter. You can also operate these motors with the wireless foot pedal. The Force will come equipped with the foot pedal, but on the Kraken, the foot pedal is sold separate. The foot pedal can be ran off of two AA batteries for wireless control from anywhere in the boat, or it can be hardwired to a 12 volt battery. Both motors will come equipped with Garmin's GPS features that will include anchor lock, heading hold, and cruise control, along with wireless chart plotter integration, allowing you to wirelessly connect your Garmin unit to your motor to create routes and follow tracks. Both motors will also come with Garmin smartwatch integration and power pole integration. Now onto a couple of the new features that separates the Kraken from the original Force. One of the standout features that puts the Kraken above the rest is that it has multi-band GPS which should provide you with much better anchor lock and GPS accuracy. When using anchor lock, the Kraken will also use both forward and reverse. This will allow the motor to make quicker and smaller adjustments to keep the boat in one place, while also keeping the head of the motor from spinning around in circles. Another cool feature on the Kraken is the live scope cable management. This allows you to easily mount your live scope transducer right above your lower unit and protect the cable by running it through the shaft. And now on to the built-in sonar. The Force will come with a built-in GT54 UHD transducer, which will give you chirp sonar and ultra high def clear view and side view with compatible Garmin units. The Kraken in the black color will come with built-in GT56 UHD transducer which will also give you chirp sonar and ultra high def clear view and side view, but will give you a little bit clearer image and better range. The Kraken in the white color will not come with built-in sonar. And now for the price. The current price of the Garmin Force ranges from $35.50 to $36.50 depending on the shaft length. And for the Kraken, on the black Kraken, the price ranges from $3,700 to $3,900 depending on the shaft length. And on the white Kraken, the price ranges from $3,900 to $4,300 also depending on the shaft length. 
So if you're looking for a top of the line motor, I don't think you can go wrong with either of these models. They're pretty similar in price, so I'd base my decision on what type of boat you're gonna be mounting it on and what your specific needs are gonna be. So that's all I got for you. If you got something out of this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you guys watching, and as always, keep trolling.